Welcome back to NC State Dendrology. Coming to you this afternoon um, in late May from Elk Knob State Park. This is up in the northern, northwesternmost part of North Carolina. I'm pretty much on the border of Ash County and Watauga County. And I'm with this, I'm really excited. This is our my trifecta, the third buckeye um, that we find in North Carolina. And as you can see, it's a huge tree. Um, and so this is the largest of our native buckeye species. This is Esculus flava, or yellow buckeye. The only species of buckeye in the North Carolina flora that has, that grows into a very large tree. Um, Multi-stemmed in this case. So what do we know about buckeyes? Just a quick recap here, right? So um, just like the other videos, if all you had were leaves to go, it would be very hard to distinguish. Um, they have opposite I'm going to show you here they have opposite and palmately compound leaves right so um, this entire structure here is a leaf and you can see that it's there's two leaves for each node which makes it opposite and the leaves again these are compound leaves that are palmate so there are leaflets that radiate out like the palm of a hand right so that is really typical for all of our buckeye species the leaves are about not much different in size from our other two species of buckeye. But this is the buckeye species that is found and most common in the mountains of North Carolina. And um, it is a canopy dominant in some of the forest types, including rich cove sites. But where I am right now at Elk Knob, I'm about 4,500 feet. And so I'm solidly in this northern hardwood forest. And it's a beautiful forest, extremely rich. Elk Knob is a really interesting site because it's in the Amphibolite Mountains and the soils here are rich in circumneutral soils so it has a very lush understory. I'm going to see if I can angle the camera down to show you just how rich and lush this understory is. Um, so right so the buckeye has these opposite palmately compound leaves Another attribute of buckeye that I commonly see in the mountains is that it has pretty smooth bark, and that means that it provides this great habitat for this rich diversity of lichens and mosses. So you'll often see these yellow buckeye trees covered with, um, with mosses. You can also see that the bark um, kind of flakes out. Sorry, Mr. Lo Daddy Longlegs. But the um, bark has these flakes to it, kind of as the tree matures, it looks a little bit like puzzle pieces. Um, and so it has these kind of overlapping scales of bark, but otherwise the bark is fairly smooth. So Esculus sylvatica, um, this is a major dominant species in the northern hardwood forest. Uh, northern hardwood forest is dominated by, usually found at elevations above 4,000 feet in the mountains and is dominated by American beech, yellow buckeye, yellow birch, and sugar maple. And this is what we have, um, a really beautiful northern hardwood forest here at Elk Knob State Park. And um, try to think of what else. It has the same capsules in the fall that you would expect to see from our other two species of buckeyes. Um, and just a quick recap that on the coastal plain we'd see red buckeye, which is Esculus pavia. In the Piedmont we see a kind of a shrubby tree, um, Esculus sylvatica, which is painted buckeye. And then here in the mountains, we are seeing yellow buckeye, um, which makes a dominant canopy species. So that's, that's a wrap. And this is NC State Dendrology. Thanks for tuning in.